Well, local business organizations are hoping the state Supreme Court will uphold Spokane's Proposition 1, which restricts camping near places like schools and parks. It was already upheld in a lower court of appeals. The support for Prop 1 was filed by Greater Spokane Incorporated and the Downtown Spokane Partnership. Derek Strom has more on why businesses want to see Prop 1 enforced. 75% of Spokane voters voted to pass Proposition 1 in 2023, which aims to restrict encampments around schools, playgrounds, and parks, among others. And as the legal battle around that proposition continues, a couple of downtown organizations, including the Downtown Spokane Partnership and Greater Spokane Inc., have wrote a brief to the state Supreme Court in support of Proposition 1. Greater Spokane Incorporated says it wants the state Supreme Court to uphold Proposition 1 because creating safe and accessible public spaces will help the businesses it represents. The organization says it doesn't want to outlaw homelessness, but it wants to create safe spaces for kids, and it believes Prop 1 will also help get homeless people to the resources they need. It was narrowly tailored to spaces where children are likely to congregate, and it's important to us as a, as a business community that when our community speaks about particularly important issues like that, that we're preserving that power and that voice in the conversation. But the organizations behind the lawsuit challenging the proposition believe it would systematically take away rights from homeless people. Jules Helping Hands is a homeless outreach group and its executive director sent a statement in response to GSI and DSP's brief. It says in part, quote, Prop 1 is not going to do what the community is hoping. They are being misinformed on its enforceability. This one as well will be no help to reducing homelessness and it's giving a false set of expectations. It will be a sore disappointment when and if it makes it past the Supreme Court. The case is expected to be heard by the state Supreme Court in the next several weeks. In Spokane, Derek Strom, 4 News Now.